Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. Geomoetius was a jealous fish with the Silurian, yet its credibility has in the past been cast in doubt. Long thought of as a baseline aspid, Gemoetius is now recognized as the best known member of the Hyperarchian order, Gemoetiforms. It had an elongated body, and is thought to have had, in comparison with relatives known from intact bodies, like Euphanerops, a dorsal fin and an anal fin, near the rarermost third of its body. Various researchers examined the original fossils, and rather than interpreting them as the carbonized remains of mussels, they interpreted them as the scales of an anaspid reptile. Fortunately, later discoveries, including specimens with the mouth preserved, reconfirmed White's original correct interpretation that Gemoetius was actually a jawless fish. Earlier reconstructions depict the creature as having side fins running the length of its body, starting from behind the branchial openings to the tip of the tail. Nonetheless, some past fossil specimens once attributed to Gemoetius have now been found not to belong to the genus. New research demonstrates that the supposed fins are actually deformations of the body wall as the corpse was being squished post-burial. Gemoetius had a narrow, tubular, eel-like shape, with a pair of lateral fins running along its flanks, a long fin on its back, and a small anal fin. Thus, it resembled the modern lamprey in form, and may have lived in a similar manner. Uplift was produced by the strongly downturned tail, it had a round, sucker-like mouth, yet it isn't likely to have been a parasite, such as its living descendant, the marine lamprey. This jawless fish attaches itself to other fishes, shreds their flesh away, and then sucks their blood. Despite that, hard teeth are so far unknown, and thus Gemoetius might have swum around looking for small organisms to suck in its mouth. Gemoetius had an elongated body with long fins along its back and flanks. Its jawless mouth faced forwards from the front. With the position of the mouth in mind, it has been suggested that there was a smaller probability that Gemoetius was a detritivore, because most fish that lived that way during the Silurian had their mouths on the undersides of their head. It was more likely to have been a filter feeder or detritus feeder, possibly in the manner of larval lampreys. Gemoetius had a cartilaginous skeleton and a branchial basket resembling the cyclostomes, features suggesting that it was a basal member of that clade. It is also the earliest known vertebrate with camera type eyes. It also possessed weakly mineralized scales. Gemoetius was originally named by Errol White on the basis of two specimens, and at the time it was considered to be the most basal vertebrate known. Since then, it has been reclassified by many workers as having many different affinities like unspecialized anaspid, or as a sister taxon of the lampreys. There was some difficulty in classification due to difficulties in reconstructing the anatomy. It doesn't have usual cordycine apomorphies. Currently, Gemoetius carwoodi is placed in its own order, Gemoetiform, together with Euphanerops and similar agnathans. The generic name Gemoetius is a reference to the English paleontologist J. A. Moy Thomas, thus Gemoetius. It was named by Errol White in 1946. It belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Chordata, the order Gemoetiforms, the family Gemoetidae, the genus Gemoetius, and the species Gemoetius kerwoodi. Species include Gemoetius kerwoodi, which is the type. Its diet is uncertain. It was 11 inches or 27 centimeters long, or just a little bit shy from 1 foot long. It has been found in Scotland, Europe. It lived during the landover, the Ludlow of the Silurian, 443.7 to 422.9 million years ago. Fossil representation includes few specimens. Thank you for watching this program episode of Prehistoric Beasts under Jaws Fishes. As always, this is Ankyridian. See you next time.